So once we have the tree built and all of the fail relationships set, um, we can start. We can look at a haystack string, and what we're going to do is we're going to find every instance of each of the words inside the dictionary inside the haystack string. We're going to do that in linear time. So how we're going to do that is we're going to have an index i, which is the current character inside the haystack. And we're going to have a map, which, or uh, this is going to be a hash table of matches that's going to have type, it's going to have string as the key, and it's going to have a list of integers. Sorry, it ran off. It's going to have a string as the key and then a list of integers as the value. And these lists, this list of integers is going to represent every index we can find that output string or that word inside our haystack. And this will make sense when we start when we start doing this. So uh, I'm going to have a current node. So I start at the root node and the first character I'm looking at is B. So I'm going to say from my current state can I get to a child that has character B. Yes, I can, right? So I traverse to this node here. So. Now, I'm going to check to see, does this node have any output? If it does, I need to put it inside my hash table. It doesn't, so I can continue on. So I'm going to increment I to the next character. So now my current node, or my current character is C. So from my current node, I say, does this node have child C? Yes, it does. So I'm going to traverse to this node here. Okay. Now, this does have output. So what I can do is at, so for the character BC, so for, for this key, I can find this string at, and this is how I calculate the index. So you're going to say index i minus the length of your output plus 1. Okay. So the length of my output is 2. My current index i is at 1. So if I say 1 minus 2 plus 1, that's going to end up equaling 0. So all I'm saying is that I can find this output string starting at index 0, which you see BC, that's also that's true. At index 0, I can find BC. So I'm going to say index 0, and we're going to continue the list going down. Okay, so I'll leave. All right, so uh, once I've set that and I've taken care of the output, now what I can do is increment I. So now I want to look at the next character, A. So what I want to do is I want to say from this node here, from my current node, does it have child A? No, it does not. So what we're going to do is we're going to fail. We're going to go up to the root node, and, uh, and from this point, we're going to say, does this have child A? So after we fail, we check again, does this have child A? Yes, it does. So now I'm going to step to here. This is going to be my current node. We have to take care of this output, so I'm going to say A, this key can be found at index I is currently equal to 2, minus the length, which is 1 plus 1, oops, plus 1, so I can find that at index 2. Which, if you look in here, at index 2, I find the string A. Okay. Now, from my current node, oh, sorry, increment the index. So now, from the current node, does this have child A? It does, so I can step down to that child. Uh, I have to take care of all output here. So for key A, 
now I have uh, i is equal to 3 minus length 1 plus 1. So I can find this at index 3. Okay. I said lists are going down. So I can find a at index 2 and 3. Okay. So we increment i. Now, uh, from this current node, does it have child b? It does, so we're going to step down to that child. And now I have to take care of all of its output. Okay. So it has string AAB. Okay. So for AAB, I have some list. Um, let me be more clear if I draw lists this way. So I have some list. So we say i is equal to 4 minus the length, which is 3, plus 1. So you can see uh, starting at index 2. Starting at index 2, I can find that, which in this case, at index 2, I have a, a, b. I also have output a, b. So for output a, b, I can calculate 4 minus the length, which is 2 plus 1. Uh, you can see that starting at index 3, or here at index 3, I have string A, B. Yeah. So once I'm done matching this, you can see that for every word inside my dictionary, I found every instance of it, and I only looked at every character once.